Thanks for giving this, this chance to me. Today I will talk about tunnel spectroscopy in a normal metal quantum dark conductor hybrid system. Uh, this is the outline of my talk. Uh, our system is composed of normal metal, nanowire quantum dark, and superconductor. The physics of this system is very uh, similar to the physics of Majorana formula. So, First, I will review what is the Majorana. <coughs> Then, I will explain in detail what is the uh, normal metal quantum dot conduct hybrid system. First, I will review experimental result. Then, I will introduce a theoretical approach, which is called spin polarized hot r e p o r t I will criticize this approach. After then, Uh, we will I will introduce uh, some uh, new solution for that problem. I will conclude my talk by giving few remarks. <clears throat> so, before addressing the Majorana polynomial, let us focus on what is the particle and antiparticle. <clears throat> This is the famous delay equation. <clears throat> uh, as you can see here, This is the first order uh, differential equation in space and time. So it satisfies the principle of relativistic theory. So up to now it is fine, but it gives two eigenvalues. One is positive, one is negative. Then the question is, what is the meaning of negative energy solution? Uh, according to d i r e c Uh, he introduced the so-called uh, Dirac C. It is very similar to balance band in condensed matter. So according to him, the vacuum is the occupied C of negative energy electrons due to our exclusion principle. Positive energy electron cannot decay to the occupied uh, negative energy state. This picture is very similar to the picture of in the condensed matter theory. <coughs> anyway, If we give enough excitation energy, uh, negative energy electron uh, excite here, so it uh, <coughs> has a positive energy, but it leaves a uh, hole in the balance band. So in this way, he explained the origin of the negative energy. So by exciting an electron, we created particle and antiparticle. Then, uh, mathematically, <coughs> here gamma matrix are uh, complex, so that uh, resulting wave function must be complex. So mathematically, we can say, to describe a charged particle like electrons, we need a complex wave function. <coughs> so uh, a wave function describes a particle. Its, uh, its complex conjugate describes the corresponding antiparticle. Majorana raised the question, <coughs> if the wave function is real, what does it mean? How can we uh, obtain such a real function? So Majorana's theory is symmetric theory of particle and antiparticle. 
it can be easily done. Uh, uh, we can make gamma matrix as uh, pure imaginary. Then I times gamma matrix are real. So the resulting wave function must be real. This means a particle is the same as the its entity particle. So uh, because of this fact, no electrically charged particle can be a Majorana polynomial. Only neutral particle can be their own own antiparticle. Example includes neutrino and supersymmetric particle and the other exotic particles. In particle physics, Majorana polynomial is a elementary particle, but in condensed matter physics, it is a positive particle. That implies we can create it. It is similar to the direct polynomial in, uh, in graphene. Anyway, we can create uh, in the lab. <coughs> then question is, how can we uh, make the Majorana in condensed matter system? All proposals are based on hybrid system involving uh, conductors. I will explain why we need a conductor. <coughs> Let us consider simple uh, BCS Hamiltonian. Uh, in addition to the usual kinetic energy, there is a pair creation and pair annihilation operators. Then this Hamiltonian can be diagonalized using the so-called Bogolyubov Palatin transformation. Uh, look at this uh, diagonalizing basis. You can see it is a combination of annihilation operator and creation operator. That implies the eigenvalues of the BCS Hamiltonian come in pairs. I mean, superconductor has a built-in uh, particle hole symmetry. So there is some energy with E, uh, there is uh, some particle with energy E, then there is always corresponding particle with minus E. So if the energy uh, of that particle is zero, we can expect the appearance of Majorana. But in the usual conductor, we cannot uh, expect uh, the existence of Majorana. This is because uh, in the usual conductor, they, uh, they have a spin here, uh, which is denoted by plus minus. So in the usual spin, uh, in the usual conductor, uh, their spin are uh, different, so in the, we cannot expect the existence of Majorana in the usual conductor. So, to get uh, Majorana polynomials, we have to remove the spin. How can we do that? <coughs> uh, let us consider a nanowire with a strong spin orbit coupling. <coughs> Due to the spin orbit coupling, the spin symmetry is broken in this way. Then, we apply the magnetic field to the orthogonal direction to uh, spin orbit coupling. Then here, distance point uh, lifted. Then we tune the chemical potential at this point. As you can see, in this way, we can choose only one spin. Uh, so in combination of spin orbit coupling and magnetic field, we can remove the spin. So this is the simplest proposal to detect the Majorana in condensed manner. We put nanowire with strong orbit coupling on the superconductor, then we apply the magnetic field. Then above some uh, critical uh, magnetic field, we can expect the existence of Majorana polynomials. Uh, this, pro uh, this proposal is very attractive because all the ingredients are available in the lab. So uh, indium arsenide or indium antimony nanowire has a uh, strong spin orbit coupling. Also it has, they have, they have large g-factor. This means we can apply magnetic field without destroying the conductivity. Also the chemical potential <coughs> can be tuned. So, but I get the question, I mean, here, uh, when you can consider one spin, but you can see the only particle, right? Electrons, not the holes. Because in your picture. Yeah, in this case, I consider only the nano one, then we put a uh, conductor. Okay? 
So no, because in Mahalana, pictures you in the beginning uh, talk, you have a uh, mixture of uh, Holland and... Yeah, I know, I know. Right. Okay, so uh, I introduced this picture, how to remove the skin. But here we put conductor, then she put up pink correlation leading to the uh, nanowire. This is the proximity effect. Then due to the proximity effect, then there is a antiparticle corresponding to particle. So it is combination of conductor and nanowire and spin of coupling and magnetic field. Okay, maybe you explain better later. Let's see. So uh, according to the theory, there is a H Majoranus to detect the Majorana. We attach a normal leaf. It works as a proof. Then, since the Majorana has a zero energy, we can expect uh, some uh, peaks at the zero energy. This is called zero bias anomaly. This is the theoretical proposal. <clears throat> the theoretical proposals uh, have been uh, has been checked uh, in many experimental groups. The famous one is uh, the experiment which has been done in depth. As you can see, as a function of uh, applied uh, bias at zero bias, you can see the appearance of the zero bias peak. So. In this way, we can um, verify the existence of Majorana. But <clears throat> uh, then I will explain why we study the uh, normal quantum uh, normal <coughs> conduct hybrid system. The simplest reason is that they are structurally so similar. More fundamental one is this one. There was a uh, theoretical proposal to detect Majorana polynomials. Uh, here, the authors put a chain of magnetic atom on top of the conductor. <clears throat> then, uh, they use STMP to uh, detect, uh, to see the differential conductance. Uh, according to their theory, then we can uh, <coughs> observe the existence of Majorana polynomial. According to uh, their theory, then uh, we can expect uh, the peak at this end point. Okay. <clears throat> Previous experiment only observed the zero bias anomaly. But here, we also spatially resolve the position of Majorana polynomial. This is uh, the simulation result. As a magnetic field, as a function of magnetic field, we can distinguish trivial region, non-trivial region. I mean, in the non-trivial region, we can uh, observe uh, the Majoranas. You can see the zero energy mode here. <clears throat> also, they spatially resolve the position of magnetic field, uh, the Majoranas. You can see the H, uh, well localized H Majoranas in the non-trivial regions. Also, this figure shows the uh, zero bias anomaly at the edges. And there is a uh, <coughs> Majorana, we can clearly see the zero bias anomaly. <coughs> this proposal was also uh, checked experimentally by uh, Stanford group. Here they used uh, 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 a chain of ion atoms, then they put uh, the chain of uh, magnetic atom on top of lead conductor, then they uh, use STMT, okay? This is the result. The x-axis uh, energy direction, y direction is the spatial direction. So this corresponds to the edge of the chain. Clearly you can see at the zero energy, at the edges, you can see the appearance of the zero, uh, zero bias anomaly. <coughs> so, uh, they detected, uh, they resolved the position of Majorana spatially. This is our second motivation. They used uh, a chain of uh, magnetic atom. We simplified this system, so we consider only one single impurity. Uh, the underlying physics is that the phenomena 
observed in a single impurity system could be regarded as precursors of myon animals in the long wire lineage. This is the reason why we study normal quantum, uh, normal metal and quantum dot and superconductor system. Uh, last year, Rosa and I studied uh, normal uh, metal quantum dot superconductor system. <coughs> To understand the physics of this system, first we have to understand what is the condo, what is the YSR bound state. So I will briefly explain uh, what is condo, what is the uh, YSR bound state. Uh, let us think about what happens with, magnet, uh, what happens with impurities. Uh, we consider a normal metal, then we put impurity on top of that. As a function of temperature, when we decrease temperature, usually uh, resistivity decreases. But below some temperature, it saturates. This situation happens when there is a non-magnetic impurity. The question is, what happens with magnetic impurities? As you can see here, when we decrease temperature, it decreases. But below some critical temperature, which is called condo temperature, it increases again. This is because uh, the, uh, the impurity is screened by uh, conduction electrons making uh, singly. This is the condo effect. Then next question is, what happens uh, you know, conduct with magnetic impurities. This problem was uh, uh, studied by Yu, Shiba, Lushino. So, in abbreviation, we call it uh, YSR. <coughs> they consider a uh, classical spin. By classical spin, I mean there is no internal dynamics. <coughs> they also very uh, large uh, spin. <coughs> Then they uh, used uh, elementary wave uh, function matching method. Then they calculate the energy eigenvalues. Then they found uh, subgap sub excitations. Okay. Following Yu, Shiba, Lushino, we call it YSR bound state. Now let us consider quantum spin. Quantum spin. Uh, by quantum spin, I mean there is an uh, internal dynamics. I mean from time to time, spin can can be can flip and flop. So um, in this physics, strong strong interaction induces exchange interaction between the quantum dot electron and conduction electron. So the physics is the same. Uh, still, we observe again we observe the bound state. Here we call it YSL bound state. But here there are two characteristic energy scale. One is the condo temperature, the other is, the other is uh, uh, superconducting gap. <coughs> uh, depending on the competition between condo temperature and uh, superconducting gap, uh, we can observe uh, the crossing of the YSL bound state. When, uh, when the YSR bound state cross the Fermi level, the fermionic parity is changed. By fermionic parity, I mean there is a two ground state. One is the single uh, ground state, the other one is uh, double ground state. So depending on the uh, ratio of condo temperature to uh, conducting gap, uh, the ground state changes from singly to doubly or doubly to singly. So physics is determined by uh, competition between quantum temperature and conducting gap. But what is the mechanism which creates this crossing? I mean, I know you yeah, yeah. have a magnetic field. Yeah, I will explain that. Uh, here I display the phase diagram. There is two uh, ground state. Um, let us assume the conducting correlation is very strong. Then um, 
uh, electrons make copper pairs. They don't, uh, con uh, they don't consider the quantum dot electron. So uh, quantum dot electron is free. So it can be up or it can be down, but it is double. But now let us consider the opposite situation. The quantum temperature is stronger than uh, superconducting gap, uh, superconducting correlation. Then this uh, quantum dot electron is screened by coarse particles in the superconductor, making single. Okay, so <clears throat> there is a transition from uh, double it to single it or single it to uh, double it, depending on the uh, decay and superconducting gap. Okay, so. <clears throat> As a function of uh, Coulomb interaction, um, uh, phase diagram uh, will be like this one. Or as a function of uh, gate voltage, phase uh, diagram will be will have this one. No, but maybe because I don't know. I don't understand. I mean, maybe everybody understand. But again, to have a singlet, uh, for example, state or triplet state, we need at least two electrons, right? Sorry? Two electrons you need. How you have these two electrons here, please? I mean, singly, in the single, uh, in the double phase, there is one electron. Okay. In the single phase, this uh, 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 quantum dot is still singly occupied, okay? okay? But it is uh, screened by Coarse particles in the conducting lead as a whole, they make a uh, single. What do you mean screen? <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, let us consider in, uh, quantum dot electron. Then there is a, uh, this electron uh, is screened by, uh, I mean, no, but in quantum effect, usually we know there is one electron and which is replaced another electron, and this is quantum effect. One electron, not two. But you consider... No, 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 no. Oh. So this is the impurity electron, okay? So by quantum effect, this electron is screened by Conduction electrons. So they create a pair. Yeah. They make a single. This is quantum single. And triplet? And the triplet, how you create? Triplet? Yes, because you say single. <laughs> Usually we don't consider triplet because it is. Higher energy. All right, but you consider the uh, transition between single and triplet, no? No. No? No. no. We usually no. consider low energy physics. So. Okay. so, here the situation is the same. Uh, singly occupied quantum uh, dot electron is uh, screened by uh, coarse particles in the conductor. So, what happens? Uh, in the presence of the, <coughs> oh, sorry. what happens in the presence of normally uh, this sharp uh, phase transition point is broadened by uh, uh, is replaced by very broad crossover region. <coughs> uh, Rosa and I studied uh, spectral weight as a function of superconducting uh, gap. Uh, here we reduce uh, conducting gap from 0 0.5 to 0. This, uh, this situation is equivalent to increase uh, magnetic field because magnetic field destroys uh, the conductivity. Anyway, you can see uh, as a function of uh, uh, this one, you can see the appearance of the uh, zero bias anomaly. So it, this situation resembles the Majorana PD. Also, zero bias peak appears in the uh, 
uh, transition uh, region between uh, doublet and singlet. So uh, in this experiment, the authors experimentally experimentalists clearly uh, consider consider the, uh, the effect of magnetic field. Here, uh, gold uh, normal metal is used, and indium arsenide, indium phosphate, coal shell nanowire, pantanda is used, and vanadium uh, conductor is used. Here, plunge gate controls the level of the pantanda, okay, and back gate controls the strength of uh, normal barrier and conducting barrier. Here, S barrier uh, controls the asymmetry between uh, conducting barrier and normal barrier. <coughs> anyway, <coughs> they studied the differential conductance as a function of magnetic field and uh, conducting barrier. Experimentally, uh, here uh, the pulse draw corresponds to the smallest gamma, bottom node corresponds to largest gamma. Here, leftmost column corresponds to B equals 0, and rightmost column corresponds to 0.5 Tesla. <coughs> uh, you can see here some loop structure, but when we, when we increase the superconducting barrier, the loop structure um, disappears. Experimentally, this means uh, transition from double lead to single lead. <coughs> also, you can see here, look at the second panel. There is no loop structure. This means the system is, uh, is in the double lazing. But when we apply the magnetic field, here you can see some loop structure. So this means the quantum phase transition from single to double region. But uh, maybe you discuss a little bit this diagram of the right side. Uh, because you have seen that, okay? Okay, okay. So, single, uh, there is no any uh, uh, demon splitting, right? Yes. Then you talk about, uh, you call it doublet, which I don't understand anyway, but you have a demon splitting, mm -hmm. right? How you create this state? Mm -hmm. uh, and <coughs> so, uh, first let us uh, consider this situation. Here, gamma is small, is we don't apply any magnetic field. So, uh, uh, what means double in, in, in your language? Double means uh, that is occupied only single uh, only single electron and it is free, so it can be up or it can be down. That is double. Yeah. So maybe later after the okay. seminar we can ask. Okay. Now more okay. So when we don't when we don't apply any magnetic field, there is only two states. Uh, double it and single it. Then uh, we apply magnetic field. The double it uh, split because of the Chiman impact, but single it does not split. Okay? So <coughs> uh, when, we don't, uh, we, when we don't apply any magnetic field, there is only one uh, excitation. So we see one branch and corresponding uh, whole branch. But in this case, <coughs> Uh, here, uh, uh, we start from double uh, uh, when we apply magnetic field. Uh, here, uh, this branch is split two, but in the double lysine, we can only one branch. Okay, uh, this is due to this physics. Okay, when the ground state is double in this region, this loop region. Uh, only one transition is possible, but let us, uh, let us focus on the single agent. Then two excitations are possible, so we observe two split uh, branches. This is the underlying physics. Okay, also uh, <coughs> they consider uh, the region very close to the crossing point, uh, transition point between uh, single lead and double lead. Then they applied magnetic field. Uh, clearly you can see the appearance of the uh, zero energy region. It looks like uh, Majorana physics. So 
the physics is uh, the zero energy region observed in this simple system can evolve to the Majorana uh, state when uh, uh, we uh, consider many uh, quantum dots. But also in this case, there is no spin orbital interaction. Here there is no spin uh, in this experiment, they don't consider any spin-off interaction. And still, do you see anybody like that? In actual uh, Majorana experiment, uh, as in the previous one, we uh, they used a uh, conductor with very strong uh, spin-off uh, interaction. That is because, uh, you can see, yeah. So here, uh, melt atoms arranged in a helical way. Okay, uh, this is due to the Rashford spin of interaction. Okay, but in this experiment, they don't consider any spin of coupling. Okay. Uh, the experiment was analyzed by uh, Ramon Aguado using the so-called BCS and the semitonium. Here, uh, HS described the uh, superconducting lead, HN described the normal lead, HT describes the tunneling barriers, and HD described the quantum dot region. Okay, here, uh, quantum dot region, there is a on-site Coulomb interaction. So, Mathematically, it is a quartic term, so we cannot solve it. So we have to manage it, the Coulomb interaction in some way. The simplest one is <coughs> neglect fluctuations. So in the uh, hartley fogg approach, the quartic uh, Coulomb interaction is decoupled in this way, neglecting all the fluctuations. But in this case, due to the conducting correlation, we have to also consider uh, contribution from, from Hope diagram. Anyway, we can derive a uh, Green's function. This Green's function have to be solved, set consistently. Also, uh, from the core of Green's function, we can determine the position of the annual bound state. This is the simul uh, this is the calculation result. Uh, it seems that. This calculation will describe the experiment, but but uh, let us examine. <coughs> but uh, there is uh, one uh, demerit of this pin polarized hot <coughs> uh, When we calculate the occupation of the dot as a function of the gate voltage, as you can see. The occupation of up electron is different from down electron. So even when uh, we don't apply any magnetic field. So <coughs> there is an artificial symmetry breaking field. So this uh, uh, artificial symmetry, uh, symmetry breaking field induces exchange interaction. So uh, it is very similar to the Pondo model. So, we think uh, Ramon spin polarized uh, hot fog approach uh, will describe the experiment. But we cannot accept it. <coughs> the spin polarized hot fog, uh, although well describes uh, the experiment, it is unphysical. It is unphysical because it breaks the spin symmetry artificially. Uh, in the true condo phase, there is also local moment, but uh, the local moment is compensated by conduction element electrons in the lead. So, in this case, uh, the spin symmetry is restored. So, true condo phase is different from uh, spin polarized hot report phase. Yeah, at this point, Rosa makes call David. <coughs> Okay. <coughs> Here we consider uh, 
uh, the fluctuation uh, to some degree. Then we get some complicated Green's function. This Green's function has to be also uh, calculated, has to be solved self consistently. Uh, we can also uh, easily calculate the position of under bound state. So uh, we calculate uh, the occupation of the dot. You can see, <coughs> as you can see, the occupation of up electron is the same as the uh, is, is is the same as that of down electron. So in our approach, the spin symmetry is conserved. Also, you can see <coughs> uh, some plateaus. This plateau is due to the Krohn blockade phenomenon. In the Krohn blockade resin, uh, the dot can be uh, peeled one by one. So, uh, uh, at this resin, the occupation is zero, but in this resin, uh, the dot is singly occupied. In this, in this resin, that is uh, doubly occupied. Anyway, our solution well describes uh, the clone bracket. Now let us compare our result with experiment. Uh, we focus on the mm. small gamma resin. We don't apply any magnetic field. Okay, so in the base diagram, we are in this region. Then uh, we calculate the differential conductance as a function of gate voltage. You can see this uh, picture is very similar to this one. Okay. Also, we uh, analytically calculate the position of the under bound state. Uh, uh, these two figures agree well. So our approach is good. Uh, for small gamma. <coughs> yeah, I will conclude. So, uh, our solution is good for describing the plumb blockade legend. But, as I mentioned, our solution does not capture the quantities. <coughs> okay? So, our theory has to be complemented by the more sophisticated method like energy calculations. Also, as David mentioned, we did not include any spin orbit coupling. So, inclusion of the spin orbit coupling will be interesting. Yeah, thanks so. I don't know about the quantum point content. I think that you are referring to the 0.7 anomaly. Yeah, but it's different physics. Yeah, as I know, 0.7 anomaly is also the physics of quantum dots, so it is due to the Coulomb interaction, but I don't know. But I believe the interpretation is that there is an induced spin due to symmetry breaking in that case, local speed. I don't know, but in that case, maybe they are natural, but here, yeah. symmetry breaking is artificial. Yeah, here is artificial. I mean, there is nothing that can break the symmetry. But, but the system is not um, finite, no? It's an extended system. So it, it, it could be still a physical yeah. symmetry breaking. No? 
you are mentioning the crystal field, right? Similar to, to that. It's not a finite system. It's not a finite system. Yeah, but we are considering the infinite system. So, that's not. so in infinite system, you can have symmetry breaking. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm not so convinced that it is really unphysical. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so anyway, uh, my point is uh, this symmetry breaking pair, there is induced exchange pair. So this exchange pair uh, resembles the quantum physics. So uh, simple uh, spin polarized Hartle-Fock approach will describe the quantum physics. But as I mentioned, uh, uh, in the quantum phase. There is also local moment, but it is screened by uh, conduction electrons in this way. Yeah, I mean, so it has spin symmetry. So, um, so there should be some Newtonian after the coupling can be uh, spin symmetry. If the system is finite. Yeah, this is a quantum mode. This is a quantum mode. Then there is a but you have the couplings to the external. But it's a Tony's whole life, Hamiltonian. Yeah, so everything is up from this decoupling. Mm -hmm. No, they seem to consider like uh, we done uh, many years ago RPA, which is to spin symmetry. Simply, they use main field approach and then they say, okay, we consider fluctuation and then fluctuation recover broken symmetry, that's it. But of course you're right that uh, because there is a contact which can break physically the spin symmetry and doesn't matter infinite or finite system because you have po uh, po point contact which bring physical mechanism. And uh, what you want to say is that you consider it in fact a closed system and uh, when Lorenz saying infinite system he means you have open system. That's it. Okay, I mean, this is also possible what they do. I don't see problem. They simply recover symmetry destroyed on the main field level. So, more questions? No? Then we can thanks again. But I don't understand. I mean, when you talk about Dublin, it means uh, you have suddenly level, it has a magnetic quantum number of one. Yeah. And this means triple, see, triple.